So a lot of people know the economy is not great, but all the data is really weird right now. So like today, what just happened is consumer spending was shown to be increasing. Now generally, when consumer spending is up because we're in a consumer service-based economy, that's usually pretty good. But when you dig into how people are spending their money and not what they're spending their money on, it kind of gets a little weird. So I'm processing this for firewood, but the economy is processing a lot of money in a weird way. Because while consumers are spending more than ever, they're doing it on credit cards. Why is that a problem? Well, credit cards now have a insanely high interest rate. So people are putting everyday things and silly things like jeans, or Pokemon cards, or even groceries onto a credit card, which I think the average rate now is 28% interest. So you're paying interest on a good, on a service, not a asset that's going to appreciate more than 28%. You're just consuming that product or consuming that service. That's a very poor sign for the economy and the overall attitude of the consumer. You put that on top of the fact that consumer debt is at an all-time high. There's literally, literally never been another time in United States history where more people have been in more debt. And then you look at what just came out about um, the default rates on multifamily housing. All-time high. People are not able to pay their rent. People are not able to pay their mortgage. These are not the signs of growth. These are the signs of a economy heading towards a wall. A wall that no one really knows how high it is or how thick it is or what it's made out of. But they know that when we get there, it's gonna hurt. This is part of the reason why we tell people to buy Bitcoin. Why we tell people to invest in things that don't go down in value, like ammunition or food or seeds or even at sometimes precious metals. But if you're just reading the headlines, just thinking about what's going to happen over the next three months, you're not planning ahead, well, you're planning to fail. So you need to have a forward-thinking mindset. I know that's not sexy to talk about, but right now, it's the end of August, it's almost September. I like to burn a lot of wood in the wintertime. I've got a wood-burning fireplace. So what am I doing? I'm taking this fallen tree branch, I'm processing it, I'm turning it into kindling. Taking all these little scraggly bits off so that I can use this wood to start a bigger fire in my fireplace. Unless you hit the lottery, it's kind of what it takes. Being comfortable in life, not having to worry about where your heat's going to come from, or worry about where your next meal's going to come from. It takes a lot of prep time.